Yes, I know it's a preseason game, but come on. It's his first start in the NFL at home. You know, he was a fourth-round draft pick, walk-on at Purdue. We all know his story. And for him to come out and show out uh, 15 of 18, only three incompletions, no turnovers, only one sack given up, you know, the sky's the limit for this guy. There is nothing negative that you could take away from this game. He stepped in there like a veteran, and he got the job done. You know, who, who would have thought that of all the rookie quarterbacks drafted this year, he would have been the best. You know? What's up, Ready Nation? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button, hit that like, it goes a long way, and also leave me a comment and let me know if you like what I'm doing if you don't. And also, if you'd like to follow me on any social media platforms like TikTok, Instagram, or Twitter, you can follow me at Raider underscore underscore Laos. So let's get straight to it, y'all. Our Las Vegas Raiders absolutely kicked the shit out of the San Francisco 49ers in all three phases of the game. And you know, it really started on Thursday when we had the two joint practices on Thursday and Friday with these Niners, and we finished it off on Sunday, kicking their ass all day, baby, on the special teams, on the offense, and on the defense. You know, when I say we won the game in all three faces, you know, in special teams, we had great field position all day. You know, we would punt the ball off and we would tackle them immediately. And also, the Niners had two missed field goals to our two makes. And what I love is that, you know, McDaniels, he didn't give a shit that this was a preseason game. He, he called a timeout right before the half to ice the kicker. And he also challenged a play that uh, was a first down for the, for the Niners in the second half. And that was reverted back and they ended up having to punt. That was a real like slap in the face to the Niners saying, we don't give a shit that it's the preseason. And we're, we're going to call it how it is, baby. So I love that. First and foremost, we got to talk about the fact that everyone came out healthy, everyone except Dylan Parham. And, you know, there's no update as of right now about him. But other than that, everyone exited the game healthy. No one came out injured. So that's a very big plus. And something that I'm also happy to talk about is that there were rarely any penalties. I think we only ended up committing three penalties. But like I said in my previous video, I didn't want to see no pre-snap penalties, no false starts, no illegal formation, no delay of game, no wasted timeouts. And that's exactly what happened. And that was huge. You know, this is Aiden O'Connell's first time on the big screen. Yes, I know it's a preseason game, but come on. It's his first start in the NFL at home. You know, he was a fourth round draft pick, walk on at Purdue. We all know his story. And for him to come out and show out uh, 15 of 18, only three incompletions, no turnovers, only one sack given up by who else? Clee, you know, go figure, right? Clee, Cleveland Farrell went and got the sack against us. But I absolutely love everything I saw from Aiden O'Connell. You know, no uh, interceptions. The three passes that were incomplete, two of them were dropped passes, and the other one was uh, right on the money. But I think it was a, a, a pass breakup. But other than that, I absolutely love everything I saw from Aiden O'Connell. You know, he has the potential to be that backup number one. You know, passing Brian Hoyer, if he continues like this in the preseason, you know, the sky's the limit for this guy. If Jimmy G happens to go down in the season, this guy, Aiden O'Connell, is going to be the first man up. And quite honestly, I don't think we're going to miss a beat. Yes, I know it's only preseason, guys, and there's no game plan going in, but you got to love what you saw. There is nothing negative that you could take away from this game. Maybe he wasn't mobile. But I beg to differ. On that play when he almost got sacked, he ducked under and threw the ball away. It was a very impressive showing from Aiden O'Connell. We all knew the accuracy he brought with him. You know, beating Drew Brees' record at Purdue. And he stepped in there like a veteran. He was confident and he got the job done. You know, when he handed the keys over to Chase Garbers in the late third quarter, I think we already had uh, 24 points on the board. So, you know, big hats off. To Aiden O'Connell, great first game. You know, it's something definitely to build on. You know, next week, we're going to play the Rams in Los Angeles. We're also going to have two joint practices with them. So, no, so let's keep an eye on, on this. But he's trending in the right direction. This is exactly what we would like to see from our quarterback. You know, who, who would have thought that of all the rookie quarterbacks drafted this year, he would have been the best. 
You know, I know it's only early. It's only week one. But damn it, he had a great showing compared to the other guys. Anthony Richardson threw a pick. CJ Stroud threw a pick. Bryce Young didn't look that confident in Carolina. They didn't score any points. They got shut out 27-0 against the Jets. And for Aiden O'Connell to come in and to play like how he did, magnificent job by him. And another play that I want to talk about is Cole Fotheringham. You know, prior to today's game, no one really had heard of this tight end. And for him to come in, I think he had four receptions, and three of them were for first downs. So hats off to him. You can totally tell that there's a connection between O'Connell and Fotheringham. That's something also to look out for, because who's going to be that third tight end after Michael Mayer and Austin Hooper? There's a, there's a tight race for, for who's going to be that third tight end. And this guy's showing... Uh, a great case for himself. Keep the name in mind, guys. Cole Fotheringham. He's a second-year tight end out of Utah. And something that I want to absolutely talk about is this defense, baby. They were flawless. Yes, I know it was only Trey Lance. They didn't have all their starters in there. They didn't have Trent Williams. You know, they didn't have Debo Samuel, George Kittle, and the list goes on. But for the guys who were in there, they definitely showed up. You know, Trey Lance and Sam Darnold, they didn't really have a clean pocket. That whole game, they were under duress. You know, we got four sacks all coming in the first half. I loved it. Two turnovers, one interception, you know, uh, two dropped interceptions. So, in reality, we should have had four turnovers, three of them being interceptions. Nevertheless, you know, all that stuff that was coming out of camp, that our defense was much improved, that our pass rush was improved, that our, that our defensive backs were getting after it, like we were getting a lot of pass breakups, we were getting interceptions, and all of that came to show on Sunday. All that, that noise, all that hype that was so, um, building up on our Raiders, it definitely came out and showed, guys. It wasn't all talk. It was definitely some truth to that. So that's, I know it's only the second and third stringers making these plays. Marcus Epps was in there, Marcus Peters, you know, Nate Hobbs, etc. But the guys who were in there were making plays, and that's a good sign. Why? Because in a perfect world, you know, no one gets hurt. But that ain't like that. This is football. You know, the season's long, and eventually these second and third string players are going to have to play. And for the fact that they were making plays in the preseason, you got to love it. Pretty soon, it's going to be their time to shine, and they got a ball, just like how they did so. So that's something we absolutely got to tip our hat off to, to our defense. You know, I'm loving what's coming out of the camp. I loved what I saw out of the defense. You know, you got to tip your hat to Patrick Graham, our defensive coordinator. He's obviously has something cooking up. These guys are headed in the right direction. You know, another player I want to talk about is Jacorian Bennett. This guy, he made, a, I think, two pass breakups, but something that he also made his presence felt was in the special teams. You know, he was making plays. He was uh, he on a punt return. I saw he was the first one down there and made a tackle. Beautiful play. And another guy that stood out to me was Roderick Teamer. You know, I think he made two or three very important stops on special teams. One on the kickoff return and two on the punt. So, you know, these guys, you know, Roderick Teamer, Jacorian Bennett, uh, Curtis Bolton, these guys, they're going to have to make their name on the special teams. Let it be Marcus Peters or Nate Hobbs. These guys are coming in, and we're not going to miss a beat, guys. You know, that's something where we've lacked in the years past. We haven't had a depth, and that's what's wrong with the Raiders. You know, on paper, we look beautiful. We look like a good team, a playoff team. But the moment we start to get injuries, that's it, because our second- and third-year players are not that good. And I think that's where the difference is this year. Our second- and third-string players are actually decent. I'm loving everything that's coming. We're trending in the right direction. You know, Dave Ziegler and Josh McDaniels, it's actually looking, their plan is starting to form, and it's actually looking that the guys that they are bringing are starting to pan out. You know, it's very early. It's only one game against the Niners. You know, next week, let's see what they do against the Rams. Let's see how they do in these two joint practices. And also, we got one more game after that. So let's just hold our horses. But nevertheless, this is something to be excited about. We are trending in the right direction. You know, our defense ain't going to be the laughing stock. I don't believe we're going to be in the bottom half of turnovers. I believe we're going to we're gonna cause some havoc and we're going to get some, guys. So that's it for this video. Let me know how you guys felt about this game. Are you guys excited? Do you think uh, there's optimism to, to be have coming off of this beautiful Raiders game? And before I end this video, guys, I just wanted to say one last thing. Raiders!
And until next time, peace.